Oh, hey, good. You're just in time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm in time to watch you do that. No, to watch our Christmas tree grow. To watch it. I gotta get some water. You know, it's gonna take a long time for a Christmas tree to grow, like, like 10 years. Oh, you of little faith. See? Wow. Good work. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Ah! Whoa! Run! 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 Oh! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. As you can see, it's Christmas time, so we've really gotten into the Christmas spirit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, John, how do you like to get into the Christmas spirit? Uh, you know, the usual stuff, singing carols, baking cookies, reenacting Christmas movies with sock puppets. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> wow, this candy cane forest is ginormous, and I'm singing. And I'm in the forest, and I'm singing. Oh, I was just, oh, this is pokey. Yeah. How do you get in the Christmas spirit? I'm glad you asked. One of my favorite things to do is to go out and buy a few Christmas presents for my family and friends. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, but what I don't love doing is is wrapping the presents. Uh -huh. I'm terrible. Look, here's a present that I wrapped. <laughs> See, it's. Oh uh, wow. Sorry. That's yeah. awful. So. Today, I'm very excited because I have found someone to help me with my problem. Oh, cool, who is it? Her name is Cheryl. Uh -huh. I overheard people at the mall saying that she is the best Christmas rapper in the state. Oh, well, I wonder what makes her so special at Christmas you know, I bet she ties really good bows mm -hmm. and then can, can do the little curly thing at the end with the scissors. Uh, I, you can, know, I can never do that. Uh, well, I you know, know what, I also bet she uses the most beautiful wrapping paper in every color with like really unique, one of a kind Christmas designs. Yeah, I bet she folds the paper perfectly so it doesn't bunch or crinkle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you got me excited about Christmas wrapping. I know. I know. Everybody, please welcome. Someone who knows stuff. Woo! <laughs> oh, hey, hey, come, come on, on in. in. Come on Hi. in. Hi. Thank you. Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Absolutely. So, Cheryl, the legendary Christmas rapper, tell us who you are and what you know. Well, you kind of just did that for oh, me. Uh, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh, no need to apologize. I see my reputation precedes me. That's right, I am so thankful that you're here. I have, I have so many things for you to wrap. Mm. I have uh, this candle for my Aunt Sue, um, a cat calendar for Grandma, she loves cats, and I have for my nephew uh, this card game. Mm. So, can you help? Of course, I can totally wrap those. Oh, right. <laughs> Listen up, people, cause Christmas is here. Brandon's brought some presents for people. He finds dear kitty, Kyle enough for grandma, a candle for Aunt Sue, and the last is some cards for Brandon's nephew. Word. What? <laughs> that was awesome. That was, uh, that was quite unexpected. <laughs> uh, unexpected? Yeah. But you've heard of me. I'm Cheryl, the Christmas rapper. Yeah, right. You're, you're... oh, <laughs> Christmas. So you don't you don't actually you don't wrap presents? You <laughs> no. Wrap. Not with paper. Okay. <laughs> Bicycles, candy canes, baby dolls, picture frames. Oh, oh man, this okay. is the best misunderstanding that's ever happened to me. Can, uh, can can you rap about other stuff about Christmas? Of course. Okay, okay. Uh, what should we rap about? Uh, uh, baby cake. Jesus. <laughs> oh, <okay>. Sorry. <laughs> you said baby Jesus yeah. and you said fruit cake. Hmm. <laughs> How about a mashup? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's great. God sent baby Jesus on Christmas Day many years ago in a manger he lay. Here's a love for us we cannot measure, but like a fruitcake, it lasts forever! Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Wow, yes. Jesus and fruitcake. Yeah, you don't get closer to Christmas than that. No, you don't. Nope. <laughs> now, my only conundrum um, is that I still don't have a way to actually wrap my gifts. Hmm. 
Maybe we can figure out how to wrap them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, well, you know what? But first, uh, can you uh, can you uh, get us into our next segment? I can do that. Mm. <laughs> Colored lights hanging up and down the street. Kids are decorating their Christmas tree. I'm running out of rhymes and we're running out of time. So I think we better be yelling. It's Bible story time with Kelly. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh man. <laughs> Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. Looking good, Kellen. I love that outfit. Thank you, thank you. Gotta spread that Christmas spirit. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Christmas spirit, I've got some amazing Bible verses today all about God's plan to send Jesus. And that is why we celebrate Christmas. Take it away. These verses come from the book of Isaiah. Now, Isaiah was a prophet in Jerusalem who lived about 700 years before Jesus was born. He told the people of Israel the things that God told him to say. And one really amazing thing that God told him was this. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us. Can you guess who the child was that Isaiah wrote about? It was Jesus. God's people were in need of a savior and God had a plan to send his son Jesus. God told Isaiah what the Savior would be like, and Isaiah wrote it down. He wrote, And he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace. Wow! Those are some incredible names that God gave to Jesus. And to help us remember those names, I've got our favorite cheer squad. Let's give it up for Jackie and Dee Dee. Hey, Kellen. Hey, Jackie. Yeah, Dee Dee? What do you think of all these names for the Savior? Hmm. I think they deserve a good beat. Hit it. Super strong, he's there for us all day long. Father forever, Prince of Peace. Father forever, Prince of Peace. He loves us so much, his peace is free. These are his names for eternity. Woo! That is definitely going to help us remember all of those names. Well, let's see what else Isaiah wrote about Jesus. There will be no limit to how great his authority is. The peace he brings will never end. He will rule on David's throne and over his kingdom. He will make the kingdom strong and secure. His rule will be based on what is fair and right. It will last forever. The Lord's great love will make sure that happens. He rules over all. Wow, that is a lot. But let's take a look and see what Jackie and Dee Dee have in store for us. Give me an F. F. Give me an O. O. Give me an R. R. E. V. E. R. Forever. His kingdom will last forever. He will rule forever. His peace will last forever. For E, V, E, R, forever. Nice. But did you guys hear that? God told Isaiah that the Savior would rule forever. No one can ever have more power or authority than he does. God gave Jesus a kingdom that will never end. That's amazing. And it was God's plan from the very beginning. Cheer squad, want to finish this out? Absolutely. Dee Dee, yeah. are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, if you're thinking about how amazing God's plan is, then yes? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Twins. A plan was created because of God's love to give us a savior sent from above. Now Jesus will rule forever as king. Great 
job. Huge thanks to our cheer squad. You crush it every time. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. That is incredible. Isaiah spoke about who Jesus was and what he would do hundreds of years before Jesus came to earth. Yep. God had a plan to save the world and bring people back into a relationship. And God prepared the way for Jesus through Isaiah. You know, I, I love all the names we have for Jesus. Wonderful advisor, mighty God. <laughs> yep. I'm going to have all those cheers stuck in my head. Yeah, me too. Thanks for the Bible story, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys next week. You know, we wouldn't even have Christmas if God hadn't sent Jesus. It's just so cool to get to celebrate God's amazing plan. That's true, and it's a good inspiration for... Reveal the question! Mm. What are your plans for Christmas? Hmm, well, God made the ultimate Christmas plans. I'm sure you don't make your plans hundreds of years in advance, but I bet you do have some plans. Like going ice skating, uh, baking cookies. Yeah, or maybe visiting your grandma. Uh, you could even make plans with your friends to do something nice, like uh, surprising your teacher with a special gift or uh, singing Christmas carols in a nursing home. Yeah, whatever you plan, I hope you have a wonderful start to this very special season. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this has been the So-and-So show. Let's wrap it. The, Ready? The, the, okay. And I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is the so-and-so show that you're listening to. On. 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 Merry Christmas. Now, if you have a ribbon, wrap it around and give it a curl while we all say wow. 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 Wow! 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 Oh, there it is! Wow. That is a rap, rap. Oh man, that's uh, great! Curl. Hey, did you, know. hey, you show. did you did you put the present in the box? Oh man! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>